Right now, the number of cars stolen continues to rise. Brad Hamilton reports on a suspect who is facing charges on three cases in a single month. Also, Sarah Godlewski is gone in the Senate race, where that leaves the Democrats. And we're following what happens to millions of pounds of all that junk that fills Madison neighborhoods every August. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. Thanks for joining us. The Madison man was arrested Wednesday night after he crashed a stolen car into a tree and took off from the scene. This was at the intersection of Marsh and Vogue's Road. It's an incident that by itself is pretty alarming, but might only get worse because the suspect accused of committing this crime has been charged for stealing at least two cars over the past month. Brad Hamilton has more. Brad? Charlotte and Eric, 20 year old Tommy West is behind bars tonight with three cases pending against him from stolen car incidents over the past month. But if if he is charged again in this latest incident, it could cost him more than just jail time. Sarah Richmond was at work when she got a panic call from her son, letting her know that her home was surrounded by police. I got the worry instantly. Richmond's son explained that his friend, Tommy West, had just crashed a stolen car and took off from the scene. Desperate for a place to hide, he barged into Richmond's home, but the mother of eight children wanted no part of hiding him. I told Tommy my stuff and said, Tommy, you have to leave my household. You are jeopardizing where I live at. You had no business being there. And I guess you jumped out the window. Landing right into police custody for the third time in about a month. Richmond was and still is furious with West for involving her family. Messing with people's livelihood. I could easily get in trouble for her him even being on the premises. And for being accused of stealing from others again. Had it been my car, I'll be pissed off too. Like, you can't just go and take people's stuff. That's not part of life. Richmond believes that West is calling out for help, but he needs to learn from his actions. Released on a signature bond for his previous three charges, Richmond believes that if let out again without help, he will continue this pattern. But one thing is for sure, her family's not going to be a part of it. For my kids, that they can't hang with him no more. Because if they hang with him, he probably do it again. And just a reminder that West has not been formally charged in court for this latest incident. His other three cases are still active. Brad, thank you. Madison police say they found a car that was stolen on the city's east side Thursday, but they're still looking for the puppy that was inside at the time. Authorities found the vehicle in the 600 block of Seagull Road, but it was unoccupied at the time. The puppy, a 10-week-old brown and white Boston Terrier named Malloy, wasn't inside either. There is now only one major candidate remaining in the primary race for U.S. Senate in Wisconsin as State Treasurer Sarah Godlewski announced this morning that she is dropping out. Right now, what we have to do is we have to get behind Mandela Barnes to defeat Ron Johnson. And that is exactly what we're going to do. She's the third major candidate to throw their support behind Mandela Barnes, which all but seals the race for him. He will face a few primary challengers August 9th, but none who have pulled close to him. Barnes and Godlewski were both elected in 2018 and have served in the executive branch together. As we campaigned together four years ago and have served in office alongside each other, I've always admired your determination, your dedication to make the most out of any situation. So the question going forward will be if the money follows Barnes out of the primary. Candidates like Godlewski and Alex Lazary have self-funded their campaigns into the tens of millions. If pooled, the Democratic fundraising far outpaces what Senator Johnson has raised so far ahead of what is expected to be an expensive campaign. And now with a clear Democratic challenger, incumbent Ron Johnson reacted to the announcement on Twitter saying showing their lack of respect for voters in the Democratic process, the power brokers of the Democrat Party have now cleared the field for their most radical left candidate. Well, if you voted for Godlewski on your absentee ballot or Tom Nelson and Alex Lazary, who dropped out earlier this week, you can still change your vote. Will Keneally's story from yesterday about spoiling your ballot and getting a new one is available on channel3000.com. Well, it looks like it's going to be a great weekend. Let's check your certified most accurate forecast with Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti out on the weather patio. Hi, Gary.
Hi, Charlotte. This is the place to be. Skies are sunny and the temperatures are comfortable. As we take a look at visible cloud track, lots of sunshine across the state, and there's almost no rain across our part of the Midwest. Low temperatures this morning cooled off thanks to the dry air. Here in Madison, we dropped to 59, but temperatures are in the 40s north and west of the Dells, down to 49 in Camp Douglas and 46 uh, degrees in Black River Falls. But high temperatures today, very comfortable. Upper 70s, uh, Milwaukee, Kenosha hit the 80 degree mark, but everybody else is in the mid to upper 70s. And current temperatures now are in the middle to upper 70s over all of southern Wisconsin, but the dew points remain low. They're in the middle 50s, and that means we'll see another night with temperatures dropping into the 50s. But by Wednesday, the humidity returns and so does the heat. We've got an alert day in the forecast for high temperatures around 93 with the heat index as high as 103. So enjoy the weather while you can. Look for a low of about 58 tonight with clear skies, and tomorrow will be sunny and warm, but still not too humid with a high of 83. Later on, I'll take a look at how long that heat will last as we head into next week. Gary, thank you. The 22-year-old man accused of groping a woman on State Street early Sunday morning appeared in Dane County Court this afternoon. Ivan Smart faces one count of first-degree sexual assault, one count of false imprisonment as party to a crime. The court commissioner ordered he be held on $15,000 bond. One million pounds of extra garbage will be filling thousands of curbs in downtown Madison beginning next week. As August moving days roll in, city leaders are urging residents to donate what they can and keep usable items out of the landfill. Tahlil Mohuddin spoke with members of the city's streets division about this push, and she joins us live with more on their efforts. Eric and Charlotte, even though moving days haven't officially kicked off yet, we can already see people taking their unwanted items to the street. But city leaders say just because those items are no longer wanted by their owners doesn't mean they don't have value elsewhere. In the same area on the same days, more than 20,000 people are either moving in or out. It's just so much stuff that winds up getting put out to the curb right now. As apartment leases change over, a tidal wave of couches, desks, and mattresses will line the streets around campus. So that's just not just a million pounds extra to the landfill, but that's a million pounds our folks have to pick up. Brian Johnson says Streets Division staff will do their part to clean it all up, but they want people's help doing what they can't. It's time and speed for us to collection as well and the vehicles that we have too. Our trucks are garbage trucks. Anything in the back of that is going to get crunched. He says a lot of what gets thrown away really doesn't belong on their trucks. Why are we wasting these resources? Why are we wasting that landfill space just because like ugh, it's just so hard to call? There definitely is a demand. Thrifting is a huge thing. Um, people of all ages like to thrift because they know they're saving this, this item from being uh, put in a landfill. Goodwill's Jill Carlson says donated items also allow them to continue their community service. Employment programs which benefit uh, people with uh, disabilities and barriers to employment and they also go to our supported housing. And for items they deem not fit to sell, they have a place for them too. Through responsible recycling, we've been able to keep uh, 16 million pounds of materials out of local landfills each year. So before putting anything out on the curb, the streets division wants you to put in a little effort. If you think it can be used again, there's no harm in at least calling some of these thrift store places to see if they want what you have. Leaders say you should also avoid putting electronics on the curb and instead drop them off at their recycling sites. But if you happen to leave them on the curb, they will pick them up but will charge a penalty fee. To Halil, thank you very much. For more details on pickup, best practices, and donation opportunities, visit the Streets and Recycling website. A successful drive to help families in Rock County. That's coming up. And they may feel refreshing, but next, how a new study reveals those afternoon naps may not be the healthiest thing to do. And up next, did you know that this is the fastest growing sport in the country? I'll have the details coming up. When my family opened the first Culver's in Sauk City, Wisconsin, you know what we did? We gave it our all, making sure everyone felt welcome, sharing our favorite foods from around the state, like butter burgers and fresh frozen custard, greeting every guest with all our heart, crafting each meal with care, believing a smile makes everything taste better. And it's a tradition we bring with us yet today, from our hometown to yours. Welcome to Delicious. There are only three days to save during Steinhoffel's three-day sale.
save 35% store-wide and then take an extra 5% off when you spend $14.99 or more. Plus, take an extra 10% off all patio. And with Steinhoffel Special Financing, you'll save even more on your new furniture, mattress, and decor. So this weekend, shop Steinhoffel's Furniture and Mattress in-store and online. Relax, it's Steinhoffel's. How do you use your energy? Hitting the ball farther than yesterday? Fielding whatever comes your way? Trying to shine as bright as the sun? At Alliant Energy, we bring more clean, renewable energy to our customers every single day to power what matters to you. Because even during the most powerful moments in our lives, we're not thinking about power. We're thinking about each other. Alliant Energy. Powering beyond. I love this state. Knock on any door in any county, and you'll find good-hearted, hard-working folks. People whose businesses are proudly helped as Lieutenant Governor. Hard work needs to be respected again, with fair wages and opportunities to get ahead. That's how my parents opened doors for me. My mom was a teacher and my dad worked third shift. I'm not one of these millionaires. I work just as hard for you as you work for your family. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. The first indoor space in Madison entirely dedicated to pickleball is set to have its grand opening in Madison on Monday. And a lot of people are excited to have a spot to play this fast-growing sport indoors. Catherine Merck joins us live at the new facility after talking with some players about what's so special about this sport. Catherine? Eric and Charlotte, when I first got here this morning, the owner handed me a paddle and a ball and told me to get out there and start playing as soon as possible. And I was really nervous because I haven't played in years. However, that's what the owner told me is the best part about this sport. Anybody can pick it up at any time. Patrick Reha is serving his community in a new way this month. He owns Beef Butter Barbecue in Madison. The opening of the new facility, Pickle Pro Courts, is combining his passion for food and his paddle. This was an empty space for 20 years, and I used to store restaurant equipment up here. Last summer, I got started into pickleball, and so we started playing, and I got hooked the first day, just like everyone else does. He's right. A lot of people are loving this sport. 4.8 million people are now playing pickleball. That's almost double the number from five years ago, making it America's fastest growing sport. Uh, pickleball has been around since about 1960. Um, it started with the older generation, and everybody always thought, oh, you know, a bunch of old people are playing this sport. And then all of a sudden, the younger kids are coming in, and it's just it's exploded. What Patrick says makes the game so fun, anyone can play including me. It's taken off and the youngers are playing with the older people and just loving it. I, I've had double knee surgery. I'm still on the court. Uh, 90 year olds are on the court. It's just, it's just an awesome sport. With the grand opening just around the corner, Patrick is set to introduce many more people to the game he loves. After five minutes, you're playing. The most confusing part are the rules. And uh, once you have those down, then, then you, you, know, you can only go up from there. I hope it's only up from here for me as well because my skills were a little bit rusty there. If you want to try it out yourself, we have all the information on the facility's grand opening event that's going to happen on Monday night right now on our website at channel3000.com. Reporting live in Madison, I'm Catherine Merck for News 3 Now. All right, Catherine, I love that sport. There's not as much ground to cover, no. so it might, it might work for me. <laughs> Speaking of that, afternoon naps, they can be great for you, but not if you're trying to make up for poor nighttime sleeping. And a new study says, in fact, afternoon napping can actually lead to serious health issues. The study reported in the medical journal from the American Heart Association shows participants who regularly napped during the day were 12% more likely to develop high blood pressure over time and were 24% more likely to have a stroke compared to people who never napped. So it kind of validates that a little bit more than just telling people like, oh, it's just not healthy for you. You should get tested. You should talk to your doctor if you're napping a lot. But this is saying, hey, you know, you have a, a heightened risk of having a heart attack or stroke. And this is what the research showed. And this is the increased risk. So that's a real tangible thing. Now, Dr. Shaw says short naps are no problem. They can be rejuvenating, but it's the chronic sleep deprived naps that she's trying to warn folks about. And coming up, helping out kids get their school supplies this year in our annual Back to School Drive. And helping out butterflies, what you can do in your own backyard. And backyard's gonna be real comfortable this weekend. Gary's got that forecast when we come back.
Black Friday appliance deals in July have been extended. Save up to 60% off appliances. Doorbuster microwave, just $39.95. Plus guaranteed delivery within five days on all in-stock appliances. At Furniture and Appliance Mart, inside Ashley off the Beltline in East Springs Drive. Oh, great. My wireless bill just went up. Hmm. Should have gone with U.S. Cellular. They aren't raising prices on any of their plans. Seriously? Yeah, my price won't increase. Well, that is refreshing. I feel like everywhere you turn these days, prices are going up. Supply chain got us too. Don't get me started on the overhead costs. At U.S. Cellular, every plan for everyone is price protected. You know, I respect a female entrepreneur. U.S. Cellular, where every plan is price protected. We know a thing or two about beef. High V knows beef too. Only six out of a hundred cattle are even good enough to bear the High V brand. Only six out of a hundred. Quality like that is hard to find. So enjoy your High V steak this weekend. You've earned it. frustrated with my own party. You know, we've had 50 years to make Roe into law, but we've failed. And you know what, guys, I'm glad that now that Roe is overturned, you are all now sharing your own personal stories. But I wasn't the only one talking about reproductive rights because for me, this is not an afterthought. If Wisconsin wants to restore its women's rights to choose, they'll send the woman who will get the job done and defeat Ron Johnson. I'm Sarah Dabuski. I approve this message. You heard the Jingle Man, Wisconsin. That means it's time to get a versatile, rugged, athletic SUV that makes you feel like you just won a title. Again. Honda was just crowned KBB.com's best value brand for the seventh year in a row. So get up and go to your Wisconsin Heartland Honda dealer today. Honda gets Wisconsin. Bring it home, Songbird. Get up and go! Black Friday deals in July have been extended at Ashley. It's your last chance to save up to 60% off doorbusters, plus 60-month special financing, no minimum purchase, and no money down on in-stock items. Don't miss the best Black Friday deals, only at Ashley. You are watching News 3 Now at 6. There's a chance for you to give back to area kids this summer and make sure they're ready for the school year. And that's coming fast. Our Leah Linshide launches our annual Back to School fundraiser. We are proud to be partnering once again this year with the Boys and Girls Club for our annual Back to School Drive. It all culminates in our big Fill the Boat event happening one week from today over on Lake Wingra. Last year, the Boys and Girls Club sent me out on a kayak with the goal of having viewers stop by to fill it up with supplies. Well, you folks did more than that. You filled an entire pontoon. Again, we'll be doing it all over again one week from today. From now until then, though, you have a chance to donate school supplies at a host of different locations around town. Here's a short list up on your screen right now. We also have a full list on channel3000.com. There you can also find the items that the Boys and Girls Club is asking for. And keep it here on News 3 Now this morning all week long. We're going to be talking about the different ways to donate, where all these supplies will go, and how we're doing on donation counts, culminating again in our big Fill the Boat Day on Lake Wingra on Friday. Continuing coverage every morning on News 3 Now this morning. Uh, we have a follow-up to our story earlier this week about the threat to the monarch butterfly population. Today, Obrick Gardens marked Butterfly Action Day, focusing not only on monarchs, but all species of native butterflies and what people can do to provide a healthy habitat for them. What you can do in your own yard, at your own home. You might not have a yard, but you could plant a container, like we have containers around here filled with flowers. Um, so you provide that food source for our butterflies and those plants where they lay their eggs. Old Brick is in the middle of its three-week Blooming Butterfly Show. It is open every day from 10 to 6 until August 7th, and there is an admission charge of $8 for adults. An alert day for next week. Pretty nice this weekend, though. Here's Gary with your certified most accurate forecast. Gary? Yeah, in the short term, we're looking at a really nice forecast for the weekend. High temperatures, lower 80s for Saturday, mid-80s for Sunday, but with the humidity levels down, 
really won't be that all, all that bad and we'll have plenty of sunshine. But as uh, humidity starts to increase Sunday night into Monday, there'll be a chance for some showers and thunderstorms. And then the heat really takes hold for Wednesday and probably Thursday as well. High temperatures, lower 90s on Wednesday and around 90 on Thursday. Uh, Doppler track right now, free of precipitation across the upper Midwest. We're not looking at a lot over the next seven to 10 days. We do have that alert day in the forecast for Wednesday. Right now, it looks like it'll stay dry. So there won't even be a thunderstorm chance to break the heat. Uh, at least for a few people, but when you look at a high temperature of 93 degrees and the higher humidity with dew points around 70 degrees, the heat index could be as high as 103 or maybe even a little higher in some areas depending on what the actual temperature and dew point end up being. So that's why we have an alert date for the, uh, the problem of, of high heat. But the other problem is warm overnight low temperatures. Some of those nights could see low temperatures at or above 70 degrees with the high humidity. And that's a problem because that puts a lot of stress on the body. And our friends over at Climate Central show us that over the last 50 years, the average summertime low temperature in Madison has climbed from about 56 degrees all the way up to about 62. So that is an increase of uh, over uh, five degrees over that 50 year time period. And again, when we get into these hot and humid spells, that's when the overnight low temperatures get higher and that's when you really start to run the risk of uh, problems with heat stress. The actual daytime temperatures are going to be uh, nothing to uh, sneeze at either. Uh, mid 80s for the next couple of days, but then around 90 or above for Wednesday and Thursday and upper 80s for Friday through Monday of the following week. And the eight to, or six to 10 day temperature outlook above normal temperatures with the highest probabilities just to the south of us. Eight to 14 day temperature outlook above normal temperatures, highest probabilities here or just to the south of us and not much in the way of rain to break the heat. You can see uh, precipitation expected to be below normal over that time period. Temperatures right now, upper 70s, very nice here. And then, like I said, the next couple of days, a little warmer, but not bad. And those dew point temperatures in the 70s down to the south, we're in the 50s right now, but by the middle of next week, we'll be looking at dew points back to around 70 degrees and high temperatures in the 90s. Tomorrow though, 83 for a high, mostly sunny skies, a pleasant day overall. Seven to 10 day forecast, about the same for Sunday. 84 for a high thunderstorm chance Sunday night into Monday of next week and then the heat starts to kick in look for a high of 93 on Wednesday 90 on Thursday thunderstorm chance Wednesday night into Thursday a slight chance on Friday and then as we get toward next weekend and beyond those temperatures upper 80s but at least the humidity levels won't be quite as high. The nation's best defense in 2021 is going to look different this season with several new players stepping up we're going to hear from a pair of Badgers on what they expect from that side of the ball that's coming up in sports. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Earn a 30 cent high V fuel saver for every $60 you spend. That's a 30 cent fuel saver this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Don't miss Fuel Frenzy Weekend. Hi, I'm Scott Walker. Please join me in voting for Rebecca Clayfish for governor. Rebecca stood with me as we took on the big government special interest and cut taxes. While Rebecca and I were fighting for reform, Tim Michaels' company was teaming up with the union bosses and those lobbying for a gas tax increase. Rebecca and I knew that these increases would hurt Wisconsin families, so we stopped them. There's only one conservative fighter in the race for governor. Her name is Rebecca Clayfish. There are so many things we take for granted, and along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for granted too. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living? And through no fault of their own, they're being left behind. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy, water, and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. We're not just massage envy. We're also facials that get your skin glowing envy. We're talking, dang girl, you look good kind of envy. All right, tell me your secret and lunch is on me. Through August 14th, try your first facial and get a free enhancement plus 20% off select skincare products. Terms apply. Massage envy facials, where better begins. 
And my economic plan is moving this country in a better direction. What planet is he living on? Record gas prices, 40-year high inflation, costing families five grand more for their necessities. Sorry, Joe, that's the wrong direction. Here on planet Earth, Senator Johnson voted against Biden's massive deficit spending that sparked inflation. And he passed tax cuts to help Wisconsin families survive the economic turmoil caused by Democrats. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Earn a 30 cent high V fuel saver for every $60 you spend. That's a 30 cent fuel saver this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Don't miss Fuel Frenzy Weekend. News 3 now and the Boys and Girls Clubs of Dane County are collecting school supplies for area students. Please help us by donating at News 3 now, Dane County Boys and Girls Clubs, or participating Walgreens. Visit channel3000.com for details, then donate. Football is going to look pretty different, especially on defense. The Badgers are losing eight starters who, starters who helped them become the best defense in the nation last season. Now, losing those big names like Leo Chanel, Jack Sanborn, Colin Wilder, side of the ball knows there's going to be some adjustments, but helping bridge that gap and make the transition easier is strong leadership and experience from guys like Keanu Benton and Nick Herbig. And they don't see this upcoming season as a rebuild, it's actually a reload. You know, we got a ton of guys, man, that, that people don't really know about. You know, it's all, Sanborn's been there for a while, Burks, Leo. So, I mean, everybody's kind of excited to see uh, what new guys we bring to the table. But, I mean, guys have been putting in the work, man. We had a great offseason, uh, and I can't wait. People were putting that pressure on themselves, thinking, like, we got to be the best in the nation again. All we got to do is do what we do, and that's play ball. Trust the coaches, trust the prepara preparation, and go and play ball. Braylon Allen finds himself on another preseason watch list. The sophomore is named to the Walter Camp Player of the Year list. Now coming off a breakout freshman season, Allen was named a Walter Camp Freshman All-American. And just a couple weeks ago, Allen was placed on the Maxwell Award watch list. The focus still remains on the receiving core as the Packers finish up day three of training camp. Sammy Watkins made his return to the field today after dealing with an injury that kept him out the first couple of days of practice. The Pack acquired him this offseason just a month after Devontae Adams got traded to Las Vegas. Watkins joins a slate of wide receivers who are vying for that top spot now that Adams left. And Watkins knows how tough this battle's going to be. Nobody's starting right now. I mean, you see a lot of young guys out there making plays, running around. Um, you see um, guys stepping up, and I got my job is on the line. So I got to go out there and be, be able to compete and have fun and um, um, be a leader also, but go out there and compete and, and, and get better. The times for week two of training camp that are open to the public are out on August 1st, 2nd, and 4th. Practice will begin at 10.30 a.m. Training camp is being held at Nitschke Field. Brew Crew hit the road for some interleague play, heading to Boston for the first time since 2014 for a three-game series. Right now, the Brewers are on cruise control, sporting a 5-1 post, post all-star break record. Tonight, they've got Brandon Woodruff on the mound. The game just got underway at Fenway. We're going to have those highlights tonight at 10. Well, we got high school football not around the corner. Practice starting another week or so, so you guys can be busy. We're going to be just, college, just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> college pro, and seeing Braylon Allen again just gets you in the ready oh, for football. Oh, yeah, gets you hooked up. I mean, how, how could it he's not? He's pretty good, and he's 18 now. so He's 18, yeah, no yeah. longer 17. 18. Yeah, we heard that repeatedly <laughs> last year. He's 17. <laughs> all right, let's go to Gary, final check. Of the I beat him by a few years. <laughs> just, just a couple. A few. All of us, Gary, all of us. <laughs> Some of us more than others. Here's the uh, live view from the WIC Sky Camp. Skies are clear. Not a drop of rain anywhere around the state of Wisconsin right now. Uh, current temperatures, upper 70s here in Madison. Janesville close to 80. Milwaukee is at 80, but you know mid-70s to around 80 this time of year with dew points in the mid-50s. That's about as good as it gets. Look for an overnight low temperature of about 58. High temperature tomorrow, a little warmer at 83. And about the same for Sunday, 84 for a high with sunny skies. A little more humidity, thunderstorm chance Sunday night into Monday. And then the real heat kicks in, that alert day for Wednesday. But Thursday will be hot as well. And very warm for next weekend. Gary, thank Thank you, and thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 6. Have a great evening, and we'll see you back here at 10.